Georgia is being invaded by a very creepy giant. It is the perfect predator. It doesn't make any noise. It just hangs out, literally, waiting for its prey. Usually five or six feet off the ground, sometimes higher. It spins three webs in one, eight or nine feet long and four or five feet wide, with a depth of a foot or two. The web is yellow, like a vivid warning to stay away. The giant web is so strong, it can catch hummingbirds and bats and even small children. Well, maybe not the small children. The Joro is a type of banana spider, growing three to five inches in length. The females are lime green with gray stripes on top of her body, with bright red to purple pinks and dark blue patterns underneath. With long legs that are striped with yellow bands and look black but are actually very dark blue. I have personally observed about 1 in 15 females have just dark blue legs with little or no yellow bands. The Joro is from China. It is called Nephila clavata. And according to researchers at the University of Georgia, the Joro was documented first in 2014, having been imported on shipping containers. Apparently, a few Joros dispersed from the distribution facilities along 85 north of Atlanta into nearby woods, and they bred. The females can be more than 10 times larger than males. They will eat their male companions after breeding. Instinctively, young Joro spiders have the ability to shoot a web strand into the air and hitch a ride on the wind, which easily parachutes them to other locations. According to the University of Georgia, the females can lay from 400 to 1400 eggs at a time in a sack before the frost will kill her. Some researchers don't think this invasive species will be a problem and could actually help reduce other invasive pests populations like the stink bug. Perhaps, but perhaps they are about to wreak havoc on the honeybee population along with butterflies and other insects. If they are, it's just a matter of time before they expand to other states and do the same. I spend a lot of time in the woods and in 2015 I saw my first Joro near the Chattahoochee River in Johns Creek. She was the largest spider I had ever seen in Georgia. I knew she shouldn't be there. Last year, I saw my first Joro on the Forsyth County Big Creek Greenway. I GPS the spot. I knew they were expanding. This year, I went back to the Greenway with a camera and a GPS, and there were hundreds of Joros along the Greenway. They are easy to locate because leaves get caught in their webs. Like a Halloween decoration, you can see caught leaves levitating and twisting and some spooky look from the wind giving away the spider's web location. It looks really creepy. To me, it's like a warning. This fall, as I was GPSing many large female webs, I noticed I wasn't seeing other spiders in the woods like I had in years past. Spiders like the orb weavers, they were gone that concerned me. The Joro is also found in Korea and Tibet, and in Japan there is a legend of a Joro having the ability to transform into a Japanese princess who seduces her lover with her beauty before he is devoured by her. Perhaps many of Georgia's indigenous species are about to suffer that same fate.